Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I was born deaf. I got my first cochlear implant when I was 13 months old and my second one when I was 10 years old. And in between that, I went to years of speech therapy because I had to repeat a word 50 to 100 times in order to learn it. And I think this technology opened up a lot of doors for me, one of them being music. So music was a big part of my childhood and all the way up to my high school years. Um, I played piano for 14 years and cello for eight years. And then I remember orchestra just being a, such a great source of community and fun during those times. Uh, I got into the top level of one of the top orchestra programs in the DC area. So orchestra was a pretty strong piece of time back then. But when I started attending Penn, I lost that sense of community. Um, I had a difficult time because it was hard to hear our lectures and I felt locked out of social situations from restaurants to um, group conversations. So I stopped attending any sorts of social events to avoid feeling that sense of isolation and loneliness. And during those years, I also struggled to understand whether my experiences were real or valid because I felt like I wasn't deaf or hearing enough. And the turning point came for me when I became a Lion Fellow in 2019. Um, that was the first time I was part of a disability community and I was able to laugh, talk, and cry with my peers and hearing more of their experiences on a personal level really validated much of my own feelings. And it was also through Lion that I interned at Google as a GCS or a sales intern. And I think that's when that internship really started showing me how much of a strength my disability is because I can't hear well I have to really focus on the words said by my client, and which makes me a better listener and be able to be more present. So I think the Lyme Fellowship really encouraged me to start a disability community at Penn because I just realized that for people with disabilities and students too, that it's necessary to have a community of people like us because not only does it allow us to understand ourselves better, but it helps us to realize that we're not alone. I'm very grateful for all that's happened um, but I will definitely say that there are times and days where I am not confident in my disability or I let the insecurities get the better of me. And that's okay. I think it's bound to happen in a society where I don't see people like me or role models to show the way. But I hope that part of sharing is part of my story um, that someone will feel encouraged. So thank you, Lion, for giving me this opportunity.